What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Out of the Basement. Today, we are doing our May Blu-ray and DVD update. Of course, I'm Nate. Joined with Steven. Howdy. No J-Rick this time because he doesn't buy Blu-rays anymore. That's we, right. We were in quarantine. That's right. State lockdown. We're calling him out. No Blu-rays purchased. But Steven and I still keep the faith. Of course, you know what this is. It's our monthly Blu-ray update. Hopefully everyone is doing well out there. If you are enjoying our Blu-ray updates, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Steven! It's been a very long time. The Rona broke the streak. But anyways, it's time for... It's time for America's favorite show, Bucky's DVD Blowout. Steven, take it away. Uh, well, these were the two highlights for my DVD purchases. Yeah, you got a giant tote bag over there, but we're not doing it. Nope. We're not uh, doing it. The first one, this does have a, a Warner Archive Blu-ray of Bad Ronald. I, I know Cool Duder sings the praises of this movie a lot. Um, so if I like it enough, I might upgrade to the Blu-ray, depending on if that aspect ratio is correct. Is it Warner? Is it about McDonald or Reagan? Uh, both. The ghost of Ronald Reagan possesses Ronald McDonald. <laughs> it's all downhill from there. Let's pop that bad boy <laughs> in. And the other one is. Uh, death by Metal, the death documentary. Nice. And I've uh, been wanting to watch this one for a while. Death is probably my favorite metal band. And uh, uh, I would agree with that. Love Death. And that documentary is pretty good. Watched like probably 45 minutes of it and uh, really enjoyed it. Pretty insightful. And you guys have heard of Bucky's DVD Blowout, but have you heard of Nadie's? HD DVD blowout. Gun, 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 gun. You gotta, you gotta get your own song. <laughs> I'll file. I'll. This is my. Claim <laughs> this is. The, this is my show. I do all the editing. I'll flag the. Video. I found that actually. Justin found that song, and then I took it. And I own the copyright. What song? I bought the rights. The song we use for Bucky's DVD my blowout. Song. Oh yeah. The game Just show. Just type in game show in YouTube Audio Library. I own the YouTube audio library. But anyways, I've got one HD DVD. If you guys don't know, I've got a nice little collection of HD DVDs. Maybe one day I'll show off my collection. Because, uh, you know, here at Out of the Basement, we like to collect dead formats. And uh, it's The Reaping with Hilary Swank. Never seen this movie before. Uh, but good old Buck here is my peddler of <laughs> HD DVDs. He's the master at finding them out in the wild. And, you know, pretty much every single one you find is usually either a dollar or two or less. So it's a fun format to collect. It's just as good as Blu-ray. But most of the time, you also get a DVD and it's like a, you know, a dual layer disc. For all you youngins out here who don't remember HD DVD. They're not veterans of the format wars. <laughs> yeah. Where's your purple heart? Where were you during... We were in the trenches. During HD DVD versus Blu-ray. I remember I was Team HD DVD. Um, I lost the battle. I lost the war. I... I think the only reason I went Blu-ray is because I got a PS3. As is most people. Yeah, and, and I didn't get an HD DVD player. I feel like PS3 is pretty much what won the blu-ray war and porn true so steven let's get into our regular blu-rays shall we you've got a franchise mm -hmm. a, well a decent chunk of a franchise mm -hmm. on 4k why don't you lay it on us all right force awakens revenge of the sith rogue one phantom menace Attack of the Clones. I also have Rise of Skywalker, but I failed to bring it. I got the Target version. That's how... See? You bought that movie, you didn't even remember <laughs> you owned it already. I Yeah, I, I don't 
A, Where did I put it? A testament. <laughs> a testament to the quality of that movie. Yeah, I, I watched two thirds of it oh, the day I bought it. And then you got to They Fly Now, and you were just kind of like, ah. that, yeah, I think that was actually about the point. That's the third time I tried to watch it. That was my breaking point. First up for me is from the directors of Good Night Mommy. Haven't got a chance to check this movie out yet because Good Night Mommy was one of our very earliest videos, our discussion video on the channel way back when. So I want to get everyone together to watch this, and that is The Lodge with the slip. Don't really know a lot about this other than it is a slow burn horror movie, which you already know I'm in. And I loved Goodnight Mommy. So you already know I was ready for the directors to finally come out with another movie. I wish I would have got a chance to see this in theaters, but, you know, COVID-19 happened. So that kind of put the end on that. So The Lodge. My next pick is a British horror sci-fi film and that is attack the block oh with mr john boyega himself uh i've heard pretty much nothing but good things about it and it looks fun and i'm looking forward to checking it out next up for me is an a24 film that you can only get on a24's website i was very happy they finally reprinted it and that is Cretia which is the director of It Comes at Night's first film. I believe this is about an alcoholic mother of sorts, or, you know, she's got some issues. But I was very happy to finally pick this up. I've been wanting to get it for years at this point. And it's a nice little, you know, digi book. It's got some nice raised text for Cretia. Haven't got a chance to check it out yet. It's a, it's a, it's a Nate and Justin movie night kind of movie. Chop liver over here has got <laughs> Swamp Thing. My next pickup is a 4K Blu-ray that we talked about and reviewed we on did. our brand new horror-related talk show, Horror Hoopla. Check out episode one if you haven't. We talk about Zombie, the brand new Blue Underground 4K. Blue Underground has jumped into the 4K game. They've released Maniac. They're gonna release House by the Cemetery and New York Ripper. But I only picked up Zombie because it is one of my all time favorite zombie movies. It's one of my favorite Lucio Fulci films. And the 4K transfer was absolutely fantastic. Comes with all the bonus features of the previous release. So there's nothing new here other than a nice UHD disc, which is good enough for me because I didn't get the three disc version. So yeah, Zombie. Great classic zombie movie if you're a fan of zombie movies and you haven't seen this one, I recommend it. The next one's from Synapse and that is Basket Case 2. Ooh, haven't even seen the first one, I own it. But I found these used and for a really good price so I decided to pick this one up and uh, also the next one up. And they, like I said, they were very cheap so couldn't pass it up. Nice. It's just uh, an offer I couldn't refuse. Very nice. Next up for me is a brand new Scream Factory release, and that is Escape from L.A. It's not a great movie, but it's wacky, it's wild, it's pretty much a remake of Escape from New York, but in L.A. and worse, much worse. But it's always nice to see Kurt Russell, especially as Snake Plissken. Uh, you got Sugar Ray in this movie, just the soundtrack. Uh, Bruce Campbell makes a m appearance in this film as well. And um, uh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his fucking name? Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi is in this movie quite a bit. Next one is the third installment in the Basket Case series. <laughs> uh, pretty much same story as uh, the second one. They, they all look just fantastic. <laughs> One day we'll get to them, and I think we'll probably at least regret two and three. Your 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 Blu-ray updates this this month is uh, is just a sequel-a-thon. Yeah, especially with your next picks. So fill in the whole fill in the gaps in the collection. My next pick is the double feature to end all double features. Essential. And that is Scooby-Doo, one and two, the live-action movies. Of course, with Scoob coming out 
not in theaters on digital uh this finally got a repress or it, at least it was available to pick up in store so i found it at target and i was like now's the time didn't have one or two and I still really like both of these movies. I watched them recently. I had a lot of fun. I watched two for the first time in my life, like last year. And it was an absolute blast. I think two might even be a little bit better than one. Uh, I don't know about that one. I mean, number one has Sugar Ray. Yeah. The actual band, not yeah. just the soundtrack. And they get possessed by island demons true but two that's not enough for you two is just like a refined version and it's got all the classic scooby-doo monsters it's hard to pick i can't really pick. alicia silverstone I'm just, I'm just throwing that down there and we're just moving along all right <laughs> uh doing just that the next one is the scream factory uh connor's favorite movie of all time literally uh not a meme <laughs> Dark Man 2, The Return of Durant, <laughs> starring none other than Dr. Giggles himself, Larry Drake. And, uh, what's-his-face? From The Mummy. Yeah. From The Mummy. From The Mummy? Arnold, Arnold Vosloo. He plays Imhotep in the Brendan Fraser Mummy movies. Never even seen him. Somehow they eluded me. <laughs> You're blowing my mind right now, that's, Steve. I mention it sometimes. That's one of those, like, how did I miss it type movies slash franchises that I don't know how I missed it. Number one is still a great movie, I'll say. Yeah, they look fun. Next up for me are going to be some Arrow video titles from my Arrow Easter sale, which I finally got. Took a very long time to get over here, of course, due to the virus, global pandemic and everything. But I finally got them. Not so safe and sound. They were a little crunched. I kind of expected at this point when you order something from the UK, it might arrive a little crunched. First up is the 80s slasher film, and that is Madman. Of course, these are all Region B titles. Me and Steve here are region free. We are no longer bound by the laws of mortal <laughs> men. <laughs> of mortal men. Uh, so I'm just filling in some holes. I've always heard some pretty good I things. I love filling in holes. <sighs> Me too, brother. This is actually inspired by the same Cropsey legend that the the slasher movie The Burning is about. Uh, this also has a Vinegar Syndrome release in the United States. But, you know, we always go Arrow around here. So I'm curious to check this one out. A lot of people say it's pretty good. A lot of people say it's a steaming pile of shit. I'm going to find As out. As most of those type of horror movies go. True. Mad. One man's pile of shit is another man's pile of gold. That is true. TM. Uh, next one is the next installment in the Darkman franchise. Die, Darkman, die. Darkman 3. Yes. Do you have Darkman 1? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. We just have Dark Man two and three. I'm gonna st I'm gonna go backwards. Why not? I mean, NASA discovered the parallel universe that time moves backwards. So I'm gonna shoot myself up there and uh, cut this whole part of the video because that wasn't as funny as it sounded in my head. Next up for me is a movie I actually watched, and I thought it was pretty fun. And that is Demon, or Demoni. Where's Demoni, Steven? This is directed by Lamberto Bava, and uh, who is Mario Bava's son, and produced and co-written by Dario Argento. And it's just a fun, almost Evil Dead-y kind of movie. It takes place in a movie theater. There's some pretty good gore in it, some pretty good gross-out moments. A lot of heavy metal. You got Motley Crue, except other contemporary metal bands at the time. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just had a hoot. I had a hoot with this one. Wasn't as good as I was hoping it would be, but I still had a lot of fun. Demon. Uh, the next couple are going to be some Arrow titles I picked up. The first being Pieces. Ooh, it's exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. Or whatever the tagline is. 
It's exactly what you think it is. Yeah. yeah. And then the other one is you don't need you don't have to go to Texas for a chainsaw massacre. It's an all right movie. Uh, it's got the new 4K transfer, so I'm sure that'll be cool. Um, and uh, of course, you know, is that A or B? This is the B. Hmm. The big B. Well, because Grindhouse put out the the A version. Right. right. Uh, so yeah, of course, you know, Arrow, no surprise, uh, buttload of features, and uh, I found this one used for a good price, so there you have it, pieces. My next Arrow video title is Arrow Academy, and that's Children of Men, the Clive Owen film, directed by Alfonso Cuaron, I think I'm saying that sort of correctly. j -Rick loves this movie. And I bought the regular Blu-ray a few months ago, didn't watch it, and then it was this was part of Arrow's sale, so I was like, you know what, frick it. I'm just going to upgrade to the Arrow video version, just not even beat around the bush. Again, just like my other two titles, this is a Region B movie, so got to have that Region B player if you want to check this one out. But um, Children of Men heard only great things about it. My next Arrow pickup is a new title that they just came out with. I thought it looked like a ton of fun and it came highly recommended to me from my boss actually. And this is Edge of the Axe. The Executioner's Tax. And it has a new 2K restoration. And um, yeah, it just, I don't know. It looks like a, a nice like Friday the 13th-ish. Yeah. Knock off and uh, great cover. If it's good enough for Arrow, it's good enough for me. Next up for me is a Brian De Palma film, and that is Phantom of the Paradise. I've always heard pretty good things about this movie, and uh, it has Jessica Harper from Suspiria in it. So I've always been curious about it. Love Suspiria. Not that this movie is probably anything like Suspiria. I mean, it could be. I don't know. But it was on sale. Thought I'd finally give it a go. Brian De Palma makes some pretty great films, so wanted to give this one a nice shot. All right, my next one, speaking of bad films, some stinky stinkers. Uh, this one's from Vinegar Syndrome, but it, I, I've heard it's a pretty fun time, and this filmmaker has actually made a lot of other movies that are almost the exact same movie, but this one is Night Beast. Great. The cover tells you pretty much everything you need to know. It's got a new 2K scan and uh, quite a lot of other features as well. And um, it just looks like a, a really good time. You can look on the back, some of the gore there. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. It is uh, 81 minutes, so it's keeping it high and tight. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a breeze, though. Yeah. Um, God, look at that cover. Oh, man. I love it. I can't wait. I can't wait for Night Beast. But that was my only Vinegar Syndrome pickup for this month. But let me tell you, I'm going to have a hell of a Vinegar Syndrome haul coming this month. Next up is one of my favorite Dario Argento movies. And I double dipped because I have the Blue Underground. But the Arrow video cover is just so damn cool. And that is Inferno, which is sort of like a pseudo sequel to Suspiria. And uh, it's just as colorful, just as rockin'. Absolutely love Inferno. If you really like Suspiria, you really like Inferno. And if you don't, well, your taste in movies is garbage. And my last pickup, I was able to snag one from uh, Shout Factory's website because they recently did all those announcements that a bunch of stuff was going out of print. So. I, I pretty much just procrastinated this one for a long time. I should have picked it up. Also comes highly recommended from my boss, and that is the double pack of Terror Vision and the Video Dead, now officially out of print. And I haven't checked the eBay prices, but the Amazon prices are sky high. Dude, pretty much these two. everything that just went out of print is like insanely expensive already. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Whew. I missed out on that one, and I'm filled with regret. Yeah, and this too, as you can see, has got a lot of special features, especially for you know a, a double pack release. Usually, not, I don't want to say usually, but sometimes you can expect a little, you know a little 
skimping of the features, but they didn't spare any expense with these two. Oh. But yeah, so I was happy to snag this one before it went impossible to find. Yeah. Um, I've heard good things about these, at least TerraVision I've heard good things about. I've heard mixed things about Video Dead, but excited to watch these, they look very fun. And my final pickup of the month is another Arrow Academy movie, and this is The Hunt with Mads Mikkelsen. I've heard really great things about this movie. Uh, don't really know too much about it, but I just wanted to pick it up. It's always been on Arrow's website, and I've always been curious about it. So, The Hunt, Mads Mikkelsen. So that was our Blu-ray update for the month of May of, oh God. What is that? I don't like you that close to my crush. Were you under there the whole time? I gotta show off my Blu-rays. What's up guys? So this was April, right? During Coronacation, I uh, got this Criterion Grand Budapest Hotel, Wes Anderson. Great film. Great film. Great. Yeah. Got it off Amazon. Had it pre-ordered. Tons of supplemental materials. Loved it. I already seen it, of course. And another Amazon purchase. Pounced on the 4K with the slip from Amazon. Very happy to get the slip. With, <laughs> He's like swinging with it Amazon. in your face. But uh, Color Out of Space, which is, of course, an HP Lovecraft adaptation. We watched it on 4K uh, a couple months ago. And I enjoyed it enough. It's pretty. There's a lot of pink. And, of course, has some uh, Nicolas Cage freakout moments. Uh, now get back in your hole! Uh! Anyways, that was our Blu-ray update. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new. I'm Nate. Joined with Steven. Take care. And we will see you guys next time on Out of the Basement.